Hey guys, Ryan here from the Ants America Ant Channel, and today I'm going to be giving you guys another ant tutorial. Not just an ant tutorial. This tutorial is on how to catch queen ants. Well, queen a late ants, if we're going to be technical here. But basically, the uh, nuptial flight, which is what I'm, this chart is about, is when a queen, not yet mated queen, so a queen a late, flies up in the air with other queen elates, their sisters or other colonies, and male elates. And then they will mate in the air, land down, and make a claustral cell where they will start laying their first set of eggs to become workers someday. So, this here is a calendar showing you guys how and when the uh, queens will start having their flights based off of the type of most common spe um, species of ant in North America. So, I know you guys can't read the names, so I'm just going to read them for you when I go through it. Sorry, I thought it would be a little easier to read. But right here, I'm going to show the dates. It's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and, you know, all the way down. The first type of queen ant or ant type that will be flying is Prenolepis in Paris, shown in yellow. So, it will be flying from February to April. The bulk of the colony will be flying in around March early March, like March 5th, March 10th, and you can still be finding them in April, but they would already be in their claustral cells and getting close to laying their first set of eggs. So I had to hurry up on those. But if you do get one of them, the winter ant, Pernalepis in Paris, you're a lucky guy. Those are really cool ants to get, and they're pretty rare too. The next, which is my favorite ant colony to have, is Campanatus. Campanatus ants, shown in red right here, fly from April to July. Bulk of the colony will be flying late May, early June. It's going to be best to go out on a sunny day after a rainstorm for catching queen elates. This applies for all of them. But mainly when school is going to get out, or when if you're a senior in uh, high school, when um, school gets out early May, I'd you'd have a good time around uh, pretty much all of May and early June. April, it's iffy. You have a chance, but not really unless it, you had a good rainstorm and it's really humid out. Um, sorry guys, let me focus that. There we go, that's better. Um, but yeah, that's, and they're amazing ants to keep. They are very, po they're a polymorphic type of ant, meaning they can have little minor workers to huge, absolutely huge super majors, which can almost get as big as the queen. It's awesome. But let's get to the next colony, which is Tetramorium. These are, um, pretty common ants, and they are very easy to keep. The first three I just said are beginner ants. And I guess the final one, which is or in orange, which we'll get to later. But those are beginner ants. Um, the Tetramorium are going to be flying May, June, and July bulk in early, or pretty much all of June. You won't really see them in July, just like the Pernalepis and Paris. You're going to be just finding them in their claustral chambers, or claustral cells, pardon me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the uh, Tetramorium. They're pretty fun to keep, and they're really easy to take care of. They also eat a wide variety of food, so... Pretty nice. Um, and the next species of ant will be Formica. Formica is a just an amazing ant to keep. They're so cool. The only thing about them that I don't really like is that they spray formic acid at their ends. So if you get in there and you're gonna get formic acid sprayed, just make sure you clean with soap and water if they get it on you, because it's kind of weird. But um, you can't really get hurt by it unless you're allergic. But uh, yeah, formic. Formicas will be flying in only July. They're a pretty rare species of ant to catch due to their flying patterns being pretty weird. Um, but yeah, this is July and Formica is in pink. Um, if you catch a Formica, you're, you're a lucky person. They're also really hard to get, just like Pernalepis and Paris. But um, they're, like I said, they're not a beginner ant. They're kind of hard to keep. But let's get to the next colony. The next colony is Chromatogaster. These ones are black ants that sting, and their stings hurt. They're kind of like fire ants in that sense, but um, they're awesome to keep, and they're really cool because they have heart-shaped gasters. That's how you can tell if it is a chromatogaster. The queens, I don't think, have the gasters. Please correct me in chat if I'm wrong, but I've done research on them, and I've had that chromatogaster queen that died, and I don't remember having a heart-shaped gaster, but um, they will be flying from July, August, and even into September bulk of the colony flying um, on August, or in August. These are really fun ants to keep, and I highly recommend them. And the last colony we have for you guys is Laceus. 
Laceus is awesome. They have their variety of, well, they have the same size workers, but it's just really cool how you see these massive queens go down to the little, little, little workers. It's so cool. And um, they'll, they're the easiest to get because they fly for a long time, from June all the way to October. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, bulk of them will be flying in July, August, and September. Sometimes in June, if there's, like I said, rainstorm, humid day afterwards, sunny and warm out, that's when uh, ants fly. So, now that we're done with the chart, we're just going to tell you a few things about nuptial flights. Basically, they, um, it's pretty much how you get your colony going in the, uh, in the beginning, where you go out to catch your queen before she makes her claustral cell. You put her in a test tube setup, which I've made a few test tube setup videos prior to this one. You can go check those out on the channel. They're actually really good, and I highly recommend you guys go watch those after this if you don't know what a test tube setup is. Um, but that's your first step for the video. Also, guys, make sure you tune in next week. We have huge surprises for you guys. I cannot wait. I've been waiting so long to show you guys. I'm trying to get back into ant season, but now I can. So welcome back to the channel, guys. We were out for ant season because we didn't have anything to show you really during the winter because ants are mostly asleep here in America. But thank you guys for tuning in to the video. Please hit that subscribe button. Also, the bell icon so you guys can get informed when we make a new video. Go ahead and drop a like, and please comment if I did anything wrong. I like to better myself, so please hit hit that comment with uh, anything you want me to do next or what I did wrong. Hope you guys come in for the next video. Have a good one. Bye.